Hi, I'm with Tim and uh, from Starfield, and I really appreciate this time that you're giving me just to interview for a moment. Um, I was just wondering, you know, your, your current tour is called We Are the Kingdom. I was wondering, you know, what was the vision for the tour? Like, how, how, what inspired this vision? We really wanted to do something that was uh, more about the body of Christ than anything else. Because yeah. that's what we feel like our whole career or our whole passion calling is, is about. So we've done tours that have been kind of album themed, and this one was going in that direction but it seemed a little more fun and a little more um intentional to instead of just call it the kingdom tour to say we are the kingdom tour because it's it's what we are and it's i think more important than ever to find our identity in that community yeah i know that you're working with world vision right now uh food for the hungry and bono's one organization um i was wondering what you know what are you involved with specifically and what do you hope to accomplish um and how it influenced your life or music. I mean, we're just we're doing the child sponsorship thing. That's been really important to us at, at our shows to give people an outlet to to you know like let the worship not be one dimensional. Let it kind of be all encompassing and include giving of ourselves. Um, and we we try to just uh, uh, allow ourselves to uh, you know be a part of things that are that are stepping beyond kind of what the music is in, its, yeah. in itself. So yeah. that's why we're partnering with these things. And <laughs> we, the travel that we've been able to do with some of the organizations that we work with has inspired a lot of, um, probably m molded and, and made just our, our world views. It's, it's hard to go to places like Africa or India or South America and not um, kind of have your um, materialistic Western worldview challenged. And, and that definitely comes through in the songs and, and, and in our lives which are the outpourings. Just one last question. I was wondering what's one recent experience that you've had um, that has really impacted your life? Uh, there's two and they're uh, my kids, which are, um, you know, a normal part of life, but extraordinary in their own um, uniqueness. And, and it just uh, changes my priorities. I don't really care about all the other stuff if I'm not being a good dad. I live <laughs> to be a dad. So it's, it's sort of um, how everything else sort of plays out after that it's your first priority yeah totally and it's it is it's important and i make it that but it's also like i'm i'm compelled because i love them so much so it's it's easy for them to be the first priority just wanted to thank you tim yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me on youtube i've heard of it <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much
Can we pray first? Yes, yeah. 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 okay. So, Lord, thanks for this little group. Thanks for Twitter, I think. And um, thanks for just uh, the body represented here, this smaller piece of a bigger body that is a piece of the body of Christ in Scarborough and Toronto. God, we just thank you for your, um, your plan for this part of the world. Thanks that you use us to um, execute it. Thanks that we're part of your plan. And we just thank you so much to just be your children and, and to be the family. And um, I just ask your blessing on these, and especially as they go back to their homes and their places of work and their schools, and just that they would um, just shine with your light and your goodness and, um, and just inspire others with just the grace with which they walk around your grace and your presence all over them. Give them your eyes and your ears to understand your word and just to, just to be lit up with the, the light of Christ. In your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Awesome. That's it.